Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I just played finishing. Now this was a 3 minute blitz that I was playing and I was playing here as black. My opponent here starts with e4, I went with c6, opponent plays knight to f3, trying to deal with the knight early. Also taking control of the central squares, uh, d4 and e5 with the knight. I went with d5, opponent can take here which is the best move as well but opponent decides against it. Pushes pawn forward to e5, making sure uh, that the center is not completely owned by black because if the pawn trade happens, uh, I can simply take back with the c pawn and then I can push for the e pawn as well. So that can always happen, uh, and that's why opponent doesn't take but proceeds with e5 instead. I go with bishop g4, playing the knight, opponent plays h3, trying to remove the pin. I went bishop backwards now onto h5, still trying to hold on to the pin. Open pushes for g4. Now bishop has to only come back to the legal square remaining, uh, which is g6. And now open plays d4, trying to uh, push the pawns forward. Also solidifying the pawn on e5 further. Here I go with e6. Open plays bishop to g2, preparing to castle on the king's side. Here I went with bishop e7, trying to develop the dark square bishop. Open goes with knight c3. And I played h5, trying to break open from the king's side. Open pushes for g5. And generally, the next move for the open will be to push the h pawn to h4 as well, so that open can simply solidify this pawn further. So I thought, let me play h4 myself. Here, my open plays rook to uh, g1, uh, which means open will not be castling now on the king's side, but only on the queen's side. So I went with bishop to b4, trying to pin that knight and maybe take it on as well. Open plays a3, trying to kick me backwards like uh, the same way it happened for light square bishop. The only difference, I take it here now. Very instructive moment. Open can definitely take back. But what I did with this is spoil the pawn structure on the queen side as well. I've already overextended the, uh, made sure that the pawn on the king side is overextended. And now the pawn structure on the queen side is also affected. Now, if it goes to the end game, black will have certainly got, got a huge advantage. Now, knight to d7, open plays queen to e2. Here I go with knight to b6, uh, trying to put my knight on to c4 eventually. Open plays bishop to d2, which was strange because that leaves the pawn c2 hanging. I take on the pawn. Open goes back with the bishop, maybe with the idea of pushing this pawn ahead. But that doesn't help because always this bishop can come back and take the pawn as well. So I just went with a uh, bishop to e4 trying to pin uh, attack the knight. Open plays um, bishop to e3 and which allows me to place knight on c4 attacking the bishop. Uh, it's a good controlling square uh, in the it's almost in the center. Open goes back with the knight to d2 and a trade of the knights always important. Uh, I That was one of the pieces which was uh, opponent had was kind of active was the defender of g5 as well. So I took on the knight uh, and open takes back with the queen. Now queen comes to a5, attacking the pawn. Uh, so open has cannot move the queen. Uh, also light squares are controlled with my bishop, so it's a good position to be in. Open plays bishop to e2, and here I go with knight to e7. Now bishop e2 was played with an intent to play the pawn forward uh, and kick my bishop backwards. That's what happens. F3 is played. But doesn't bother me because I can place it on f5, attacking another pawn now, which is h3. And now Rook has to again move backwards to uh, h1 like it was early in the game. So open has been repeating a lot of moves and I have been developing my pieces better. So that's why black is in advantage here. And here I go with knight to c8, trying to put my knight on to b6 and then eventually on c4. Opponent goes back with the bishop, hitting the pawn, but it's defended. That can only work if I castle on the king side. So I delayed castling, went with knight b6. Opponent puts the king on f1. Here I go with knight on a4. Change the plans because I want to attack the pawn on c3. So bishop goes back. And now the idea for the opponent is to push the pawn forward and maybe exchange queens. And since I'm ahead in the game, I don't want to trade off the queens. I went with queen c7. Open plays king to g2. Here goes uh, queen to e7, attacking the pawn so that now uh, queen cannot be moved from here. So open plays f4, which is a mistake, allows me to take control of e4 square. Open now puts the bishop in between. I can just simply trade off 
and make sure the opponent doesn't have the bishop pair remaining in the game. Though it is useful only if the position is opened up. The position is closed, so the bishop pair is not that important right now. So I went back with bishop on f5, making sure my bishop is precious to me. It has been a, it has been very effective throughout this game, so I want to keep this uh, active. Also, it controls the b1 square, so whenever rook comes on to attack the pawn, my mistake, I can grab on the rook as well. Here, bishop to f2 by opponent. I went with queen to c7. Again, trying to maybe go to a5, not doing much, but making sure that I'm winning on time as well. 35 seconds ahead on the clock already. One minute against 135 seconds. So good position to be in when you're playing solid. Open goes with uh, rook to c1 here. And I went with rook a5, uh, sorry, queen to a5. Open puts the bishop backwards again. And I get my queen back to c7. Now finally open moves queen to e3, which allows me to get my knight backwards on b6. Now I'll plant it on a c4 again. Open pushes the pawn forward a4, and here comes knight to c4, attacking the queen. Queen goes back to e2, and now again, queen to e7, not doing much again, just trying to consolidate my position and making sure that my pieces are coordinating well within each other. My pawn structure is solid. There's no way that I'm letting my opponent come into my uh, side of the board, so I'm pretty good here. Open plays a5, which allows me to play a6, and then my plan was to put my queen on c7, Attack the pawn on a5 with a couple of pieces and grab it. Open goes with the rook to b1. And since I was playing a bit fast on time as well, I missed uh, taking with the bishop. It was kind of a pre-move that I played. Queen to c7. Open goes back now with the rook. I take on the pawn with the knight. Now open pushes for uh, c4. Now the thing is, open is feeling frustrated. That cannot do much about the pieces. So finally trying to break open. And in the process, sacrifice the rook as well for the knight. I take with the pawn, open takes back with the queen, and now I castle. Now open can take the pawn uh, with the bishop, but doesn't amper me anything. Uh, also, if queen goes back and somehow finds the way to take this pawn with the queen, I'm okay with it because my bishop will always be defending uh, the h7. Also, I can always play f6 and put my queen into defenses of g7 as well if required. Open plays d5. I take on with the pawn. Open thought that he can take with the bishop, but that's a bad move because now I have queen b6 preparing for uh, queen to b2 as well, which will be a check and I can grab the rook. Also, the bishop is undefended. So the best move in this situation is to put the queen on b3 and exchange the queens. But here my open goes with bishop to f3. Here I give a check and in this position, I think, yes, it was time out for the opponent. But it was a winning position, uh, minus 10 uh, as per Stockfish as well. So, yeah, a good enough position to be uh, converting it. Of course, I'm getting the rook for free now with the queen, and then I can simply trade off the queens and win this game easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now, and I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.